Literal equations are equations where you have more than one variable, so you can't get a numeric answer, and they've asked you to solve for a specified variable. So you can see in this literal equation that it says 3x minus 7y equals 21, and in these literals you have to be asked to solve for a specific variable, which in this case is x. So first of all, we want to isolate the 3x. We'll do that by adding 7y to each side. which gives us 3x equals 7y plus 21. And then we'll go through and divide each term by 3 to isolate the x, which was our ultimate goal. Those will cancel. x equals 7 thirds y plus 7. And we've just solved this literal for x, so it's not too hard. Okay, let's do another one. P equals 2L plus 2W, 4W. So our ultimate goal is to get this W by itself. How do we go about that? First, we want to get the 2L on the opposite side of the equal sign away from the 2W. So P minus 2L equals 2W. And then just like we did on the last equation for the x, we're going to divide every term by the coefficient in front of the variable we want to get by itself, which is 2. So p over 2, or that's 1 half p, minus l equals w. We also could have done on that one, p minus 2l over 2 would have been the same thing. Okay, a final one on literals. V equals one third S squared H four H. Want to get H by itself. We need to find a way to get rid of one third. Now we can do that by dividing by a third, but dividing by a fraction, what have you always been taught that's the same thing as doing? Multiplying by the reciprocal. So we're going to go straight to that and multiply each side by 3 to get rid of that one-third. So that'll be 3v equals s squared h. And now what's standing in the way of the h being alone? The s squared. They're being multiplied together. How do we get rid of multiplication? With, with division. So we're going to divide each side by s squared. So h is then going to be 3v over s squared.